A healthy heart has its own pacemaker that establishes its rhythm. But some people need the help of an artificial pacemaker. My heart does not beat regularly. It skips beats. And sometimes it's normal, and then all of a sudden it just goes out of rhythm. At Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center, Trejo became one of the first patients in the United States to have a pacemaker that's only 24 millimeters long implanted in her heart. This device is one-tenth the size of traditional pacemakers. Most pacemakers rely on batteries placed under the skin that use wire leads with electrodes on one end to connect to the heart. This tiny pacemaker simplifies that. The electrodes are part of the can and uh, therefore it eliminates uh, the lead. Ralph Augustini implanted Trejo's pacemaker. He threaded the entire device through an artery in her leg up to the heart. The pacemaker has small tines that anchor it into the folds of the heart muscle. Some doctors have called the device revolutionary. We don't leave any wires behind and the pacemaker, the battery, the wire is all just a tiny little piece of metal sitting down in the heart. Because no surgery is required to place a battery under the skin, as with traditional percutaneous pacemakers, and there are no leads traveling from the battery to the heart, there are fewer complications. Leads are the weakest part of traditional devices. The complication rates in general for a leadless pacemaker uh, to date have been about half what a traditional uh, percutaneous pacemaker would have. Studies show that the micropacemaker used by medical centers at Ohio State and Missouri is more than 95 percent effective. The battery can last for 14 years, and after that, doctors can implant another one into the same chamber of the heart and repeat it a third time if needed. These tiny pacemakers are not right for all patients, but as the technology develops, doctors expect more people will be able to use them. As for Mary Lou Trejo, four years after getting the new pacemaker, her doctors say she's doing fine. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.